Okay, so good morning, everyone. Hello. Yeah. Torn the new Vegas. So I did want to show. Uh, I have the trophy list all the way up this time. Apparently, offline it works uh, really quickly, actually, which is good. But so I couldn't remember when I did Fallout 3, as I said. So apparently, uh, for at least what uh, I imagine is the first trophy was back in 2011. Ooh, that's quite a long time ago. And let's see, take it back was in April. So yeah, I actually did that pretty quickly actually. And then there's the DLCs. Man, I went through a lot of game actually pretty shockingly quickly actually. <laughs> Hello Lord, how are you doing? But yeah, that's quite a long time ago. So anyway, anyway, so uh, something I do want to share real quick. I was talking to a friend about how I was planning on going through the game. Now, anyone who's played Fallout 3, the original Fallout 3, before any DLC may actually know that when Fallout 3 ended, it just ends and you don't get thrown back in the world. And I believe it was the Brotherhood of Steel DLC that changed that and it throws you back in the world now. So unless you get a really old version of Fallout 3, generally most people, you know, you finish the main campaign, get thrown back in the world and you can do the DLCs in that. So apparently... New Vegas is not like that. I, I figure, because I remember so, so well people complaining about that when Spoonie actually used to make really good content. <laughs> I remember Spoonie had a very big rant about the whole thing. But um, apparently in New Vegas they made it how it just ends. So technically, apparently, I'm going to have to actually do the DLC before the ending of the game. And I I just assumed, to be fair, that I would just finish the game and then work on the DLCs. So I'm probably going to actually at some point want to pursue um, these, like one of them I remember was a radio transmit. Let's see, investigate the midnight showing, happy trails. Yeah, that one, I believe, was one of them. So, I mean... There's supposed to be four of them. I assume it's these ones. I might have to look into that. Right now, I'm probably not going to get into it. I'm, I'm sure I still have quite a bit of campaign, I would imagine, still. But... So, that kind of changes my plan. So, at some time, I'm going to want to pursue the quests that do those. So. But anyway, let's get back to what we, what we was doing. So... Last time, we got ourselves a new companion, a big silent sniper dude, and, uh, let's see, I did go, yeah, I win now. So, um, we met these ghouls that are trying to make the great journey, which I'm a little concerned about after, was it this room we went in? I think, yeah. We came in this room, and we see these giant rockets here, which have me a little concerned, so I hope these people have a really good excuse, because if they're going to try and nuke something, I'm going to be uh, quite concerned. Now, something I did want to actually look into, which I didn't do at the end of last stream, because I figured I was all the way like an hour 20 minutes past when I normally end. And I'm going to be ending a little bit early today, so. But... What is it? There's supposed to be like, um quests for your companions if I remember correctly so I will want to occasionally talk to my companion so let's see he was a good spotter yeah we were no sure Which is funny because he's actually not willing it. Uh, sure. 
first NCR recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. They pick you out if you do well at the firing range. The pay's a little better, so I said okay. Yeah, you can tell by the patch. Bear skull with crossed rifles behind it. Slogan underneath. The last thing you never see. Pretty accurate. And so are we. <laughs> That's a good one. The last thing you never seen. Was an airport before the war. Command liked it because it was already fortified and it let them keep an eye on the strip. They've got an old monorail that still runs between them. Used mostly for supplies and deployment. But if you get leave, you're allowed to go gamble. It was General Oliver's post. But I heard he's been up at the dam a lot lately. Guessing Colonel Shu is running it. Didn't know him. He's a signature on my discharge papers. Wasn't real popular, though. Even overheard my CO complain about him once. General Wait and See, he called him. General Wait and See. Yeah. He introduced himself to me once. I shook his hand. Doubt he remembered me now, though. When he looked at you, you could see he understood. After some of the things we'd seen, that meant something. But I heard he'd be a general right now if Oliver didn't know the president. The big one. The one the NCR is trying to hold on to, that the Legion's pushing for. The whole war depends on holding it. It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. All right. I'm not sure if I want to push him about his wife. But, mm. You got no right asking me. It's just something I'm not ready to discuss. With you or anybody. The Legion's the only thing I want on my mind right now. I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. That part of my life's over now. And so is this discussion. Okay, so he didn't go like crazy about it. about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. If you want, it's not really my thing. What do you want to know? Hmm. Carla's dead. That's all you need to know. Okay, I'm not gonna push my luck anymore. We'll try to have another chat later. Okay, well, let's go up the ladder and we'll see what's up here. Yeah. So it's probably a shortcut. But we'll double check, see what it takes us. Now, I don't think we got the check mark on. Okay, so yeah, and we can still go back down, that's good. Now. Okay, so apparently I did kill them all. Okay, that works. Let's head back down then. I imagine that's gonna be a lot faster than running through the mazed ass building. 
At least the uh, sewer area here was a lot more straightforward. I really wish somebody would talk about what these night can are, though. I'm really thinking they are some kind of super mutant. Because, I mean, I don't know what the hell else. They, they are humanoid. They're like big ogles, and that's what super mutants basically are in Fallout. They are giant ogle-like people. But the fact they call them Nightkin is what makes me iffy on that. Like, maybe people just... Humans, different things. Where's the way... Very odd. Oh yeah, I dropped that. Because if I never quickly, my weight was like... Yeah, my... The weight wasn't very high. He's pretty full too, if I never quickly. But yeah, we'll go see these ghouls and uh, we'll see what they have to say. This should be the way back up if I never quickly. Let's see what they have to say about these rockets. Because, I swear, if they have the slightest hint that they're going to fucking nuke people or something, or blow anyone up, I'm just going to have to take care of them then, because... Uh, don't need any of that. Don't need crazy cultist shit going on. Anyway. Oh, it's so dark, man. So... Oh yeah, it was up. Up, up, up. Up this very confusing pathway somebody made. I didn't just make a straight spiral going straight up and then straight over there. I don't know, but what it was. Only you can prevent forest fires at your corporation. Morning. Go bother Jason, smooth. Stay. Very weird chap. Anyway, let me find your little Z. Is that room? I don't know if he's still over here or somewhere else. Nope, must be wandering around somewhere. Now there is this computer over here that um, could possibly give me more insight on the, what they're yes. doing. Where the hell is he? Hmm. That's the... Where the hell is he? Hey there. There he is. Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement, 
to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Hmm. I just really hope they'll just crazy and go blow up somewhere else as opposed to is way basically three ways I can see they're either crazy and oh shit I did that again like, who designed this fucking hell eh just mine them so bastards anyway <laughs> But basically, the way I see it, there's three basically, basically three outcomes. They're crazy, and they're basically a suicidal cult. They are going to actually attack something, whether it be on purpose or something a part of the suicidalness. Or three, that they are legit going to use the rockets to actually go somewhere. That's happening, but I do like how New Vegas has bids everywhere, though. That uh, definitely helps. It will also very nice to find them all over the place in um, in seventy six too. Always helpful. Huh. I missed one. Ooh, it has some value, actually, though. It's 105 value. Uh, do I still have... Let's do... Heavy... Bear trap, so Oof. he didn't get a pretty end of it either. I might want to be careful whatever the hell is over here. Yeah, bear traps. Son of a bitch. That fucking hot. Uh, pardon me, I ain't gonna go to the bed. How did I miss this fucking area? I guess I'll just back down. So just go straight down the hall. Why waste healing supplies when you can just simply sleep it all away in an hour? The miracle of sleeping! I feel like I'm playing... Yeah, you ever play the Saw game on the PS3 360? Like, Saw had crap tons of fucking shotgun tripwires. Yeah, so... Using some ammo laying around. Yeah, also, be careful of trip wires. Oh, let's see. Yeah, 
going? Let's finish exploring this place. Here. Hello. See the device? Fuck that all oh, so. Where's trap vision when you need it? So. Fucking courts. What's up with fucking things trapping shit like There's always so many traps. I do remember quite a few weird ass traps in three. Just stay crouched. Of course, it also doesn't help that the lighting is just so really dark. Is there a fucking mine I'm missing instead? I'm not seeing any wilds. Must be some kind of bomb laying around that I'm not noticing. God damn it. <laughs> Just need to have a portable bid. <laughs> Though he tripped. Yeah, that one's. Is that what triggered? How the fuck did I accidentally trigger that? <laughs> Don't tell me that's another one of those wondrous bugs. Somebody really didn't want somebody coming to this desk. Oh, what the? Yeesh. The fucking computer was wigged. The fuck? <laughs> it's an upper area. I do a little Super Mario. How did you get up here? <laughs> there it is. Oh. Okay, just wanted to make sure it wasn't an explosive.
Oh, good. This one doesn't explode. We say everyone here was finally excited about the module. Yeah, we went down on another computer. Forty-four stealth boys. That's a lot. Wonder if you can track that down. Yeah, there's a note, so that might be something we might be able to use. No more weights, so well, I can drop that. What's its bit? Oh, that's worth 400 over 400, so kind of don't want to get rid of that. That has some value to it. I'd like to keep the spaceship because that might actually be useful. So let's see, flame fuel. That's quite enough. leave all the silex but we make nice little bits of money so assuming he came through here yeah hmm little side wound so easily missed too bad you can't pick these up just lets you reactivate them oh. well, I'm probably not coming back here but then again, you know, maybe better safe than have my fucking leg ate off. Okay. Stream wheels going. Back on trail. So, I need to find. Okay, here we are. Office. And it was just all the way straight. Assuming that's where they are. We well, yeah, imagine that's where they are, since they wanted to go to the fucking so not then we'll look around. Yeah, 
is it? The door is closed now, so I imagine. Yep. Okay. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Hmm. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Hmm. Well, I mean, to be fair, they, they did try to tell him, so they obviously didn't immediately go into the idea of using him. They just became accepting of him, so... Well, not necessarily what I would like to say, but the other two, that is extremely rude, and that's just basically claiming the pure evil, which I... don't know quite. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you, always. Evening. Oh, is that... Okay, so that goes to the launch pad. Oh, whoa. Oh, I didn't even notice he was there. Why are they wearing suits? <laughs> The ghouls, though, aren't they immune to radiation? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Obviously, it's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science, but Jason is certain. And I believe in Jason. I'm the flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. I 
I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Late. So we can only do one task at a time. We go then. Personally. I think it sounds like they're actually wanting to launch it somewhere that's radioactive. Like they're trying to go to some radioactive place. Now I know in Fallout 4 there's like a giant radioactive area. Oh. Yeah, that's not good though. I imagine that's plenty radioactive. So, uh. Let's go here. Save us a uh, little pain. A little bit of pain. I wonder if it'd be safe to walk my way to New Vegas at this point. Dan said they made it pretty tricky to get there, or so. Hmm. I mean, at this point, I mean, I have some gear, I have some decent guns. I got okay ammo. I have some money, if necessary, being a gambling joint. I'm curious how abusive I could uh, abuse uh, the gambling, I'm wondering. Wait, wait. Oh, time. Because remember, I have stats that go up and down based on the time. So I imagine, yeah, because my stats went down. But on the upside, I do need to dump stuff too, so. Yeah, but. Slowly push me. Like okay, I was just slowly falling. Too bad she's dead. Still a pretty prickish thing of her to do. You know, now that she's dead, I should take a look, see if I can steal any shit in there. Mm, it probably still counts wobbing the community though. Ah, uh, finally. Someone who actually talks. Can't find any talking streamers today? I'm almost there. So close to selling things. He better be in here. <laughs> hmm. Kind of pointless to play on stream. Hey, you. Get over here. I don't Indeed. know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. But, oh, we had a key for that. I like to buy all your remaining rocket souvenirs. Sure thing. Have a look. Oh, no, no, no. I, I have too much stuff. I got too much stuff. 
I, I just like fought all these, uh, what are they called again? Nightkins. So I don't want this. It doesn't have any special. Oh. Wait, no, that's my. Oh, no, that. The nail ball. Well, actually, 17 damage was my machete. 14. DPS. Saying that swings faster. <laughs> yeah, I, I fought a bunch of weird uh, blue dudes in some sewer for these ghouls. Like, uh, one of them had this bumper sword thing. He, he'll pay 200 for it. Hmm. Looks like it would be kind of unwieldy to fucking use. It. Oh, you talking about the the one guy with the cows? Yeah, I ran into him too. He was the first one I ran into yesterday, and then about the last two hours. Oh, I forgot I have the follow thing off. Whoop. Yesterday I got hit by. That weird thing where people are falling. Well, where is my follow thing? Oh, yeah, I know why. Just a second, you I gotta swap over you. I keep forgetting it doesn't let me see the stuff that, uh. Yeah. Yeah, now. Yeah. I always forget I, I can't see the source because I'm, I'm using the one where I see my two screens. <laughs> Thank you for the follow though. I'm assuming uh, you followed. Uh, please do not spoil story things though. I don't mind gameplay tips, uh, story stuff. Please don't uh, spoil. Thank you. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell that. I think I'll just get rid of the bumper sword. It's probably unwieldy and it's probably not a good idea with companions anyway. But yeah, I don't mind gameplay tips like like say like, oh that gun's really good or that that gun has a secret technique or something like that, but like don't like if it involves story characters or things, don't go into that. Yeah, that gives a pretty decent penny for that, too. I got lots of laser ammo. <laughs> I probably should try to use up some. Spacesuit I should deposit. Well, I mean, they'll apparently something, so. So. See, this, this, to me, these kind of games is best, especially as a viewer, in my opinion, to watch how the player reacts to a situation. Well, there's always knowing kill those. Well, let's go ahead and trade those. And you had a bunch of stuff too, if I remember correctly. Yes. Let's see. Those. That one sell. Those I want to keep. Welcome back. Can I get you any? Sure thing. Have a look. Uh, 
So the tape can be... A number of those were useful for crafting in 76, so I want to keep those just, just in case. Then I also had that. And Not too bad. Took a pretty decent chunk of his change, though. Now, I don't know if I want to... Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oof. Ah. Hell, I don't even know how he would react to that. Hey, she murdered someone, though. Really? I mean, the day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding in. But I like you. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store. Hmm. Might be something sure else thing. of interest. Have a look. Let's see. Hmm. Anyway, key, 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 key. A drinky the T Wex souvenir. It's only one cap. Okay, well, it's cheap enough, so. Come back. So, why not? Ah. That's fucking radioactive in here? Oh my god, they're all radioactive. Holy crap. Now, do they actually, like, can they still give me radioactiveness while holding them? I don't know, but I'm going to see if I can just sell him a bunch of them. Fucking many of these things. They gave these out to people. How you doing? Yeah, so apparently they're not radioactive once you pick Welcome them up. Back. Can I get you that or it's just something else in that womb. <laughs> sure thing. Have a look. Now it said, wait. Come back. Yeah, so. Which is weird, because it wasn't it pointing at some other location? So, hmm. Welcome back. Can I get you? Sure thing. Have a look. So 
I guess that was just an alternate way to go about it. Where the hell did they go? It shouldn't be ammo, I would imagine. Souvenir. Oh, and he still has even more of these freaking T Rexes. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, this is apparently Welcome. something just way more active about the womb. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Sure thing. Have a look. Let me just look down the whole list. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't show walking souvenir. Is it maybe not sellable or something? They're in my inventory. They have no weight, too, which is pretty nice. But. It's under Mick, right? Welcome back. Can I. Sure thing. Have a look. Unless maybe he just specifically won't buy them. Come back. That might just be the case. Well, on the upside, that actually led to getting what we needed. That wasn't on purpose by any means. Oh, I need to... Yeah. I don't think they were heavy, were they? Yeah, they're not very heavy. We'll just use our second helm away from home. I am really tempted to bring all my stuff over here, but I'm just kind of lazy. I mean, it gives you all these nice areas. Put stuff in. All nice and organized. Speaking of which, actually. Bye bye me. Little grenades off, yeah. Forced. Damage, so tempted to try some of the plasma stuff. So that's fully upgraded. Use the same thing. Yeah, let's stick that. That's pretty good, so put that away. Space through the way. I need to sell a lot of these drugs I got too because I don't have any plans on using any of them. Does health always have weight? Yes, they do. A little bit. Keep two on me.
see, he didn't have too much money left. I think he had 500. Probably still enough to probably sell him the the remaining T Rexes and uh, some of these drugs. I I I try to avoid from the addiction stuff of that. It's not good for you. It's only water if you really, really need it. How you doing? Welcome back. Can I get you anything? By the way, buddy, shouldn't you be concerned that you got radiation sure in that Have back room? Like, uh, you'd think that might be a little concerning. So we'll go ahead and throw those in. And let's go through all this stuff. I do have a lot of different stuff that keep those because those there might be a emergency situation where I might be tempted to use one. Let's see these damage resistance. Psycho. Not sure what that does. be everything. There you go. Enjoy oh, all the lack of money. Hope you get some sales. Okay, let's go ahead, drop this walk of fuel, get the next thing. Yeah, because I could have swore the Corsal was past the town on the map, so weird alternate way of getting the fuel. I need to see if anyone else will buy the rockets, though. It's a good thing they don't weigh anything, though, because could you imagine how much weight they're probably adding? Okay. Okay. So, probably... Should be able to find the manhole. But then again, it was near that poisonous cloud, so... Hmm. That might not be a good idea to go near Bios, because I would imagine it's radiation. If I remember correctly, the cloud was visible somewhere. I think it was like over here. No, it's still there. It's just a lot more transparent now. I wonder if you can come over here before you ever even go in the building. Because that'd be interesting to come in through the back and just be like, Whoopsie, what I find here? Ooh, do you? Thing. I need to put the bus door down for my daily.
Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's Isotope 239, all right. And there's enough here to launch the rockets. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. So he took five of them. So... Apparently, whatever the other thing was going towards, I needed only three of, so... Hmm. Scavengers wouldn't know the... Oh, maybe the other one... Uh. I thought he was only giving me one at a time, but maybe the Corsa was for... No, because I think it was... The other one was full of this way, wasn't it? I think it was, like, somewhere right there. Can look for that. Then I probably need to do a save. You know, while I was talking to my friend last night, you know, they uh, they told me because I was talking about you know when I said I was going to play the PS3 version, I had a lot of people tell me that it is. Terribly broken, but apparently, interestingly enough, my friend told me the 360 version has a foul corruption issue. <laughs> Which I'm like, oh, is that also on the PS3? And he said, not as far as he's aware of, but it wouldn't really surprise me one way or another. I don't really remember having a problem like that, so yeah, I haven't gone that far. Now, so we'll just, again, head to the souvenir area. Those are swaps. That's weird. Yeah, I, I remember Fallout 3 freezing quite a few times. I don't remember a save corruption issue. I mean, considering how... How much I ling cling to that happening with Borderlands 1... I would think I would remember something like that. <laughs> See the infamous couples. Death code. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a quick save here. Howdy. Where you? I'm never going back in there again. That guy had a fucking shotgun aimed at his damn house. That's concerning as fuck. Oh, by the way, remember how I said there was like an enemy that was like reddish? yesterday too. Apparently that actually has to do with his pork. Is what my friend said. Oh, let me check that real quick. Sound good. Oh. Fun had to cancel being able to come to an event today. That sucks. Oh. Yeah. Hi. You friendly? Gibson Garage. Finally, so. This was 
Yeah, this is what it's showing, so. Let's see if this, uh, this folk here will have anything. Well, they are definitely a dog person, aren't they? They have a lot of dogs. Hey, Old Lady Gimpson. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gimpson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Oof. Oh, you're charming in your own way, I suppose. Not. Yep. Oh, I don't know about that. Lots of folks travel by on their way. Okay. Well, here's doing your business. 500 then. That's basically a good chunk of the money I just got from selling crap. So, you're back. Now, where... Cards. Selling old bottles. Let's see. No weapons or anything. Take. Well, uh, you uh, have fun with your dogs then. Wouldn't want to get on her bad side. I imagine all the dogs freaking lose the mind, I would imagine. It's a kill! Well, it cost me a bit of a pretty penny, but... The... Still good, though. Still pretty good on caps. Am, am I allowed in here? Looks like I don't care. So, yeah, so she basically runs a junkyard. I imagine, you know, apparently, stuff out here is up for grabs. So, I'm surprised you can't take that. Nope. Hmm. Look like kind of a collectible type thing. Anyway, let's get back on goal here then. Well. Now I'm still debating whether I want to trust him blasting these things off. I think I'll probably save and see what happens. I mean, they don't seem like they're trying to hurt anyone with any malice or anything. They sound like they generally believe they're going to go somewhere. I find it really hard to believe they're going to blast them off with five of those little rockets. That's a little hard to believe, too. Need to. Can I move, please? Yeah, thank you. Ooh. 
a stenling. Good now. I might want to. Oh, wait. There we go. Maybe not. Let's try reloading. Okay, seems good now. That was weird. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, well. Oh, Lord. Okay, maybe, maybe I do want to leave. Yeah. I don't know if it's stuff for the walking. Let's try with one. I feel like that's gonna screw with the with the um, cutscene. Hope we're not always feeling the negative effects of the save file. I hope. Everything up here is alright. Just bit on this load. You think it'd be better down here since it's a small area compared to, you know, the whole freaking world. Good Lord. It's even worse. So I like it's taking a second to load everything in the front of me and then it just kind of walks in. Lord. 
Come on. Get in the chat. Have you found the components we discussed? Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Very few. Time is wasting. It's kind of weird. It was like all fine. It doesn't look like there's anything it is additional. almost time for the great journey. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Well, let's see what happens. We have, we have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Yeah, there's like something wrong with the area you know. Not sure where the viewing platform is. Like the menu is all fine in the Pip Boy. It's like it's like anything but being in the sewer area you know. here. I think it's over there, so. This is gonna suck. Maybe hopefully the farther away we get from the rockets. Yeah, it seems the farther will... Cause it, it all just went really good pointing away from him. What is wrong with this area? Nobody's following me. Hopefully the main building's fine because it looks like that's where it wants us to go. If I knew that, I would have just went up the ladder, but I thought that one marker was what it wanted. Hmm. 
Good. Looks like it's normal in here. And we got here. Okay, let's take a look. So yeah, it looks like it's in the all building over here. The question is okay, it wants me to go to the labs it looks like, so Yeah, I gotta wonder, is the lighting like this on PC? Because fuck is... I don't really remember what the lighting was like in the... In Fallout 3, but damn. It is just so... Dark. Yes, this is the viewing platform then. Fifty five science. What do I have? I have forty three science. Magazine. Oh well. I guess let's see what happens. Good morning, Dan. Is this Looney Tunes cartoon on Sun? Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! Oh! Some reason they gave me weapon Novak. Shit, that gave me 880. Should be a pork level, I believe. Forever alone. Mm, fun. Yep, new pork. So, let's see. Rapid reload. That one's new, I believe. I don't think that was now. Hmm, I can put another pork and level up faster. Magazines. Hmm. 
Toughness. Well, using a rifle or similar two-handed weapon, your accuracy in bats is significantly increased. Quick draw. You'll find considerably more ammunition. You don't take kindly to waders, junkies, or tribals trying to settle or stay alive in civilized lands. Against dirty wader and junkie types, as well as Zen's tribals, you do 15 plus damage and have a bonus hit in bats. That sounds oh here we are yeah there's there's my delightful pork from Fallout 76 carry 50 more pounds Pokes auto. Oh boy. Wow. Level fifty. What the hell? They're all a lot of damn porks. Fifty pounds sounds very nice. Stonewall also sounds nice too. Because super mutants I remember hitting pretty hard. Killing just it's a knockback. That that does sound really good. Being able to carry more does too though. Look at that. I'm gonna carry more. Too scared to actually try. <laughs> I was like, I wonder. <laughs> so they shot that way. Oh. Hopefully, they didn't crash in anything. We go back on the trail. Let's see. Guess I can't fast travel from here. So, back we go then. It's just playing the music throughout the place. What do, uh, apparently it's still stealing. Now, I don't... Do you get bad karma for hacking, though? Because there was a total over here. Since everyone is supposed to be gone. So 
at that one. No, it's nothing different on this. Those are all the same messages from that one computer. So, guess they just have a problem with you using it. You tell me they really set up like this music to play when they launched off. Okay, we got gold that way. Skin box that way. Yeah, let's give it one chance for the skin box. I'm probably up there on gold right now. So out of curiosity, Dan, what version of this game did you play? Cause I keep hearing a lot of different opinions on each version. I guess that's just them. Thought maybe it was something to do with my Wii U. Once I get out of town, I can start to find out. He should take me to the lobby. Well, not the quite direct to the lobby that I was expecting, but. It was a little bit more direct than it <laughs> But what? Yeah, kind of because I'm curious because a friend of mine told me the 360 version is prone to the saves being corrupted. Don't know about the GOG version, though. A lot of people I always heard say the 360 version is the better one to play. But I know corrupted saves sounds like a not such fun time. <laughs> so supposedly they took all the ghouls away. Fire down over there. Well. Guess we can go ahead and continue on with checking into this. Quite a bit up there. Let's go ahead to the scrapyard because, well, that's close. Might as well get the Helios spot found and then continue on out that way. So, when would you recommend probably checking out New Vegas? Like, actually heading to New Vegas. <laughs> Since you said those dangerous things going towards there. They were dangerous. I don't even really want to comment on that. <laughs> I have no comments. Don't balk at me, boy. What am I doing on ammo for my own stuff? You're doing good. You're still pretty low. Oh. oh, shit. Wow, look at those fuckers. They are armed. Everyone has plates on them. <laughs> oh,
change. Oh shit. I realize my health is fucking Damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> well, if there are anything like those fuckers, uh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. That fucking good lord. Hope you fuckers have some useful shit. Damn. You go back west in a bid. Damn. Get one out of here, White. Bubble. Then we got past bees. somewhere around here. Healing. 
Shout out to I actually I got a few dupes. Ooh, a different kind of revolver. Uses a completely different kind of ammo. It's a little bit more damage though. Weighs a little bit more though. Ooh. A really well kept grenade launcher. Wait, well, was that the one I already had? I thought the one I had was more damage, so. Super Sludge. That looks painful. I had a dupe of something. Well, now I have multiple helms. Oof, value 799. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice indeed. Somebody will play, hopefully pay a pretty, pretty, a pretty penny for that. And yeah, that helps with all the weight. Now the question is, do I want to actually spend the time to travel back? I wonder if I could use Horbid. It's daylight, so... Nobody sell bars really cared about using the bids. It's like, madam, can I please use your bid? I kind of got shot by a whole bunch of fucking people. If if anything, I saved you, actually. Because so far, every interaction with women I've seen is slavery. So, actually, I did yourself a favor and protected you from horrible bids. <laughs> did she just... Because there was somebody funny. I guess she went outside. Damn it! <laughs> she got dogs everywhere. I don't need dogs attacking me. <laughs> that was really painful. That really was. <laughs> Well, I only ran that guy low on money, so let's go ahead to uh, Good Springs. Hello. Goodbye. He ought to be pretty stocked on cash. If I can get a good chunk of the value, I'll get some nice caps out of it. Damn! That fucking hook. I wonder if beam weapons might have been better. Actually, here's a good question. Where the fuck did they find a bunch of Roman Greek armor? See... That is... I believe that's Roman style armor, right? Caesar was Roman, right? Or was it... No, I'm pretty sure it was Roman. Pretty sure Roman. Anyway, point is, you know what I mean. <laughs> Where the fuck did they find a bunch of armor like that? <laughs> I guess there could be the possibility they made it, but... Seems like a bit much, but I don't know. Oh, well. Oh. Prim wimped out. You looking to buy some supplies? No. Candy. I'm looking to sell you more junk. As I've been doing. much for that. Good chunk of the value. Yeah, so it was Woman. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure it was Woman. Physically enough, that's worth more. I got two machines. I got fucking just sell them. I'm gonna worry about fusing them for whatever extra money may get out. <laughs> Not that big a deal. Whoo, man, that is an expensive melee weapon. But fuck, it weighs 20. Oh, shit. That's a lot. 
that's a lot. But I think I will keep it though. Thanks. Damn. Yeah, thanks for the camps. Good luck ever selling anything, punk. I think I will keep it though, because once you'll have a decent amount of spare weight. But 20, oof, that's. I mean, it has. It definitely has really good damage output, but no. No questioning that at all, but damn, is it way a lot. No, I can't really imagine what this is like on survival, considering how I was like, like I said, I don't really remember how often I messed with items in three, but damn, am I messing with way too many items in this one? Let's see if this got magically refilled. Nope, still empty, as I expected. Eh, everyone seems to be getting screwed by real life lately. Some asshole got Lexi banned off uh, VRC temporary for a month, and now I know a friend of mine's having internet problems. Apparently they were trying to get their internet upgraded, and they have an event today, and they've been waiting like all fucking week for them to get finished, and they still haven't done it.
Sorry, sorry. <sighs> it sucks everyone's just having problems with everything. So, yeah, that's... Let's see. So, is this a sniper type? Uh, tonight, maybe we have to see if everyone's good. In fact, yeah, I could do stuff tomorrow, too, tomorrow night, because I actually have Monday off. I put my personal holiday in on Monday to get out Friday this weekend. <sighs> Let me look in this hunting rifle. Because a hunting rifle, to me at least, sounds like a sniper rifle. Eh, no wheel scope. That's a nice little aim sight, though. Yeah, it looks like it's a... No, it got five rounds in it, so... Be pretty decent to keep around. And it has pretty good damage. That's actually not too bad, actually. I think I might keep that around. Yeah, so we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, yeah. See, my my friend is. Uh, they don't have it on that. Lexi got banned off VRC because somebody claiming she had a hacked client and shit. Like this shit's all getting to. And then you got this whole fucking plague with these weird guy just sending bazillions of follow following bots on everyone like can we just have everything go pretty simple so they use that so why not deposit that to get a little more weight off and I'm pretty with stakes oh, this is Should be 
pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's give the wife a little try. Say what about what? Lexi, who does the, the walkouts I join, so she got banned for a month off of VRC because of claims that she was using a hacked client. She says she doesn't use a hacked client, she uses no mods or anything, because in VRC's uh, Terms of Service, they say you can't modify the program in any way, so... But it's for some reason she just got randomly banned for a month. So she put a ticket out for that and is hoping hoping they will apply back and unban her, but you know, assuming it's full of, you know, robotic bots and shit like everything else is probably will have to wait the month. So it will suck. But, um, and then, uh, if you're talking about the follow thing, it happened to me yesterday. So, there's this guy who is, just, has thousands of bots that just keep following you and following you and following you. And that happened to me yesterday. I got all the ones that won all the way, uh, banned, banned later, uh, after the stream yesterday. So, I know a quick way to ban them now, so if it happens again, I'll just ban it. Yeah. And then, um, so, and like I said, with my other friend, Kiwo, Kiwo, uh, Kiwo, Kiwo, uh, they, they have a VRC walkout event that I actually was going to attend, and I'm going to still attend it, but, um, but apparently, uh, they've been waiting for their new internet all week, and they still don't have it, and that kind of becomes a problem when you're, you know, going to one a online event, so it kind of sucks, so what can you do? Anyway, though, 